It's the 501, baby. Uh-huh. You know how we get down on the Woo Pin podcast. Woo! Shout out OD, shout out G Homes, it's the bad. Big sexy. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Woo. yeah. yeah. Woo. We miss a week and every, miss five days and everything go crazy. Hey, man, welcome back to another episode of the Woo Pig Podcast, baby. Hey, man, we missed y'all, man. We missed y'all. We ready to give you this hotness. We ready to give you the business. Hey, welcome back. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Also want to give a shout out to our sponsor of the Woo Pig Podcast, 3M Electric, the official sponsor of the Woo Pig Podcast, serving Northwest Arkansas. They're your trusted commercial and residential electrical contractor as a SDV OSB. They're dependable and reliable with no job too big or small when it comes to your electrical needs. Contact 3M Electric at 479-408-9865 and let them know your boys at the Whoopik podcast sent you. And with that being said, you know who I got in the building. Hey man, it's your boy G Holmes in the building, AKA Big sexy. <laughs> what up, family? <laughs> what it do, OD? Hey, what up with it, baby? Hey, man, get the, come on, man. What you saying there, man? Hey, somebody holler for me, man. Y'all oh, know what it is. Hey, man. We miss some days. Cooking. Y'all boys don't know how to act. And we got the bad little brother <laughs> in the building with us. We got to take him hey, everywhere man. we go. I'm like- you know, I might be from another mother, but it's the same bad little brother. What it do, Will Pig family, man? We miss y'all, dog. We miss y'all, and y'all gonna feel us tonight. What it do, my guys, man? Y'all good? Man, we good, man. We had a good little old, little, little mini vacay. You know how it is. OD came to the city. That what you should have did, man, is put the picture up. Yeah, yeah man, they don't want to see that. They don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Put the picture up with box in it, man. You know what I'm saying? We had a good time, man. It was it was a lot of fun, man. We just, man, I'm just glad everybody made it back home safe, man. It's it's a blessing. Absolutely, 100. We had a great time, man. Hey, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hey, head over there to that Facebook page, like the page. We also stream over there as well. So you know, go go show some support on that uh, Facebook page as well. But man, we we cooking tonight, guys. Ooh, we in the kitchen. We we cooking tonight, and, and the guys have agreed to let me cook for a minute. Mm-mm. They they agreed to let me cook for a minute. So I'm about, one. I'm about to cook. And the first the first person that we gonna talk about is this guy, Hunter. You're a check. He mm-hmm. has failed the players, the parents, and the fans by not firing Sam Pittman. He failed big time. He failed him. And, yep. and I'm sure y'all like, come on, oh, how how he do that? How did he fail these guys by not firing, firing Sam Pittman? Tell him then, OD. I, I want y'all to understand something right here. I want y'all to understand something. Are the hogs broke, busted, and disgusted? Ooh, we with, with, with the boosters like this behind us, are we broke, busted, and disgusted? Ugh, not Jerry Jones, man. They, they they kept Sam Pittman and oh. said we we got to keep him because we owe him sixteen million dollars. Sixteen. But they didn't they didn't say that. But since they ain't really come out and saying what they why they really kept Sam when all the fans saying we don't want Sam, he's done every. Talking head out here in these streets know he's done. They know he can't take the halls any further, but you kept him anyway. So we're going to go out and say, 
it was because you kept him because you owed him $16 million, right? Right. What other but reason you, could it be? But yeah. you, in the, you in the SEC. But Houston paid $15 million to get rid of their coach. From the league. Indiana mm-hmm. paid their yeah. bum coach $20 million just to get him gone. Yep. So you mean to you mean to tell me the Arkansas Razorbacks in the SEC can't afford to pay this guy sixteen million dollars to get on down the street and go retire down in Hot Springs? Apparently that what you telling me? We so might be broke. We broke out here, and if we broke, honey, your check may ship us over to the Big Ten, the the, yep. the Big Twelve, or the uh, Conference USA. Put us in the same yep. conference with UAPB. We win all them games. I'm just saying, yeah. because we, got, we can't, can't be in the big boy league and not have big boy pockets. Exactly. You can't you can't pay the money, but you want you want us to come and, and, and buy them tickets. You and want get them to show them. And you oh, and this is every year. Tickets you, you are getting should, high, but you can't pay nobody to leave. You mm. you gotta you gotta support the kids. Y'all ain't supporting them. Y'all ain't supporting mm. them by keeping Sam Pittman. You ain't showing no support. And I'm going to show you mm. why you fail, why mm. you have failed these, these kids. You fail the players. And this is what, and this is what they doing. Those are on IG talking about spots open. They I'm turning on me. y'all. Spot Save open. me. That's what, they, that's what they doing. That's what they doing. Yeah. Spots open. I, I told y'all that it was going to be last, last time we was on. I said, hey, man. It's going to be a mass exodus. Locker's going to be swinging open, I'm telling you. Poo Paul. Breaking news. Thanks, Arkansas. He got he deuced. He deuced. That's your number one starter. I mean, that's a starter. He's deuced leader, out. man. Yeah. There's not a linebacker on our team that had more snaps. You know what that mean when that guy getting all the playing time and he still transferred and it wasn't a coaching change? That means mm. it should have been a coaching change. Should have been, been a coaching change. Should have been a coaching change. Let me finish cooking, though. Let me finish cooking. Oh. Hey, man, you know I'm just adding, I'm adding seasoning to the cooking. Sam and Bay dismissed Mm-mm. from the team. And Bake. Yeah. Right there. I'm... He should have been fired. He should have been fired. Yeah. And, and then, to top it off, to top it off, man. Malachi Singleton, mama, all on Twitter. What does mama say? If y'all could see his film, it's crazy good. My phone's blowing up asking why he's not out, why he's in there, why he's not in there knowing he's the best one. I'm really ashamed. Arkansas could have won more games, but they're not utilizing talent. We talked about that, too. That's what his mama said. Hey, and let's keep it real. Now, we can't give up all our sources, but this is not the first parent that came out behind the scenes. This is the first one to come out on the scene. But how many parents have came to us and came to all these different Razorback outlets saying the same thing? They not playing Damn. this kid. They not playing that kid. But the, the, the film is there. Yep. Hey, I'm getting feedback from somebody. I don't know who it is, but I'm getting feedback. I mean, oh, is it me? I think it's you, D. Uh, so that's that's the thing. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hang it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get done cooking here. But mm-hmm. this is this is what this is what I'm saying. When Hunter Yearcheck has failed, the players, the parents, and the fans. Because guess what? We've been saying that you should have cooked uh, Sam Pittman, but you decided right. to keep him over sixteen million dollars. So I'm asking the question: Is we broke? Is we broke, busting, and disgusted out here? Mm. Mm. I don't That's know, what bro. I want to know. Something's going on. Mm. I'm going to say, I think we might be broke, man. I mean, Bruh. when you we think broke. about... They just ain't giving the money. Those suckers man, ain't broke. Man, did y'all see that video of... um? Of um, uh, what's Jerry Jones at the Texas game? Apparently, he got a grandson that played for Texas now. Mm, so you saying he uh, 
He he gonna he gonna give it, be giving some of his money over there in Texas. Yeah, man, it's sounding really crazy. He got a grandson playing for Texas, and I, I think that's gonna make a big impact on us. Mm. I don't, mm. I don't, I don't, hey, kids hey, do what they want to do these days, so ain't no big deal. That ain't no big deal. But that's 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 my take on 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 the state of the Arkansas Razorbacks, man. We we out here getting thrashed, we losing, bro. It's just bad, man. Let me read my super chats real quick, man. Let me read my super chats. Hey, shout out to that guy, Box. <laughs> Supporting the channel, he said, "I'm loving this, my guys. Maybe our IED is not all that. Hey, maybe he de- he, he he failed us. He definitely failed us by keeping Sam Pittman. Man, Sam yep. Pittman should be fired. He cannot take us any further. Who who? I I, I got a question. What's Which that? lane? Who is going to come as a as an offensive coordinator for a lame duck coach? The facts." Who's who gonna do that? And here's the deal, too. Let's let's really just tell people why we say he a lame duck. Just some of the answers. Like when Trey Biddy asked him, man, after this debacle or this game, y'all just got beat down like this. How are you gonna carry some type of momentum into next season? You know what he said? I don't know. Next question. <laughs> Crazy. That's I mean. That's spoken like a dude that no, he he ain't got no job. I mean, there's nothing else for him to do. It it wouldn't have matter. Only thing that'll save him if they win a national championship. Mm. That's hey, the shout only. Out to, shout out to Mr. TW man. Thank you for the super chat. We appreciate you supporting the channel. Yeah, that's the only thing that's gonna save him, man. Is if we win a national championship, and we all know that that ain't gonna happen. Hmm. So I'm terrible. I mean, we we looking at next year, looking at the just a horrible. There's nothing out there in front of us, bro. We losing all our players. Mm-hmm. We gonna lose them. We gonna lose them all, bro. Yeah. And, and they was like, oh man, how you lose Pooh Paul, man? Yeah, how you lose him? You lose him by not saying. I mean, not being able to keep him with any type of scheme. I mean, he got a good defensive coach. He got a good defensive coach. Travis, I mean, Travis Williams is a good coach, but it ain't good enough to keep your number one guy. He don't like the head coach. Mm. You know, Mm -hmm. the scary thing about losing somebody like Poopa is one, Poopa is the linebacker. I don't know if people know this, but linebackers are making the least out of all the NIL. So that means he probably not leaving for money. He literally just leaving because he don't like the coach. And then the second thing, does that mean that we might lose? Like, are we about to have a coaching change on the defensive side we don't know about? Maybe a coach told him, like, hey, look, man, I'm about to get up out of here too. So uh, (laughs) whoever wants to slide can slide. Like, I don't know what this means. I'm just, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Mm. Mm. Hey, definitely, definitely ain't looking good for these hogs, man. Who Paul from Georgia? I'm gonna leave it at that. You, th- you think you're going home? Hey man, they, not. you know how easy it is right now to come through here and cherry pick all of our ripe cherries. You know how easy it would be. Pluck, 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 pluck. Man, you got somebody to come through, man, and tell them, hey, man, you ain't making no money over here, and y'all y'all getting drunk. Man, these cats ain't one on the hill. Man, they won that little Rudy Pooh game, and I ain't even count that junk. But since September, and I mean, you really ain't beat nobody. You lost mm. every FTC game at home. Every one. Some of them were just got your pants pulled down to your ankles losses. Come on, man. Mm. Nah, man. It's easy. It's easy to get these cats, man. Real easy. So that's all I got to say, man. It, it's just you talking to Mr. Lelman One, and I'm giving them the business because this is what I did say. Hey, man, they're going to get the dragon smoke 
when they deserve it and they deserve it mm. mississippi mississippi state alone just showed us how bad our ad is yeah mm. he got lucky with must they showed us how bad our meddling boosters are maybe it's time for our bad president to retire Ooh, boy he calling for the head of the head of the snake they, woo. hey woo -wee. box want to set a fire and burn it down <laughs> burn it down mm. you got teams mm. like indiana and houston breaking the bank to get rid of some bad weight and we won't even like do y'all understand we are the vanderbilt of the west easily we easily he's mississippi not. state beat us at home and they mm -hmm. fired their coach that's hmm. it's it's dire times in in fairville land razorback land arkansas land period no matter what part of arkansas you from it's just for for young fans like me especially it's hopeless I mean, this is the third straight coach that's just been a nothing burger. And I, you know what? I was talking to somebody earlier about this. And let me know in the comments if y'all feel the same. And, and y'all let me know too, GM OD. I have never felt this hopeless going into mm. another season. Even what they say, when like a, like a penny with a hole in it. I mean, feel hollow because even when chad moore's went two and ten that first season everybody had hope like you know what the next season this is gonna be better like we gonna and then he went two and ten again and we got rid of him so going into that next season we was like okay we're gonna get a new coach and we we had hope this is the first season where at the end of it i think every fan is just sitting there like what is there to look forward to mm. nothing that's that's why you should have hit the reset button this year because it's time to it's literally time to move on man it, it's time to move on from sam Pittman, and it, and i understand you know you you put your your word behind keeping sam Pittman, but what he ran out there on the field against missouri was was deserving of me going back on my word i, I just can't i just can't continue to rock with you bro this how you this how you losing out here. I can't continue to rock with you. I'm just gonna take you to the I'm just gonna take you in, in, to the McDonald's and be like, hey bro, I need your keys. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Not I need your keys, OD. Hey, I man, need give your keys, keys, man. I, I need your keys. We can't rock with you no more, man. You, we put your check in the mail. We we we'll put your check in the mail. That's hey, it. Hey, Mr. Blood. Hey, Mr. Bloodline. Yeah, man. Well, I got I got a new camera. We just trying to get the right settings, man. It's coming in and out of focus. My bad on that. We working on it though. Yeah, absolutely. Let me get this super chat. Ken Phillips in the building. Pittman has favorites. He doesn't care about talent. He cares about being liked and wanted to and wants to be the player's friends. Ridiculous. Asking KJ if he can bench him to let Chris Well play. Facts. Hey, I, I, hey, shout out to you, Ken, Ken Phillips. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you for supporting the channel, man. Now, I, I'm glad you brought this up, Ken Phillips, because we're going to talk about it. Let me put your name up here as a sponsor of the days. I think that's Ken Phillips. That's a that's a uh, lady bunny in the uh, in the picture. Well, that's but you business. know, I, I always, <laughs> uh, you know, I always been saying that nice guys don't keep jobs but somehow somehow this nice guy has kept his job and he doing a terrible job at it how, how do i mean how does that equate into building a better program when you have somebody that just can go out there and say you know i, I want to win <laughs> i want to win we want to win you see what i'm Did saying he said he was looking for an offensive coordinator that was something Terrible. else this man said i want somebody that understands arkansas and fits what what, what does that got to do with football man Absolutely i don't nothing. care i don't care where you come from i don't care if you southern north east coast 
let's get yeah. rid of this good old boy mentality. We got that's not that has never won us any games. But I think that's maybe that's what he's talking about. Maybe when he says he need to understand Arkansas, he need to understand the good old boy system. The good old boys. You know what I'm talking about? The good old boys. <laughs> we ain't going to get nobody in there that's going to do a good job. We're going to get in there to want that they're going to do the job that I want to get done. You see what I'm talking about? They don't want hey. nobody in there that's, that's ruffling no feathers. They want a, couple, I mean, a bunch of yes men. And Sam Pittman has that yes man feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Like his wife, his wife probably running. You know what I'm saying? He don't run nothing nowhere in his show. His show. You can't even you can't even run a program that you're getting paid to run, which tell me you ain't running nothing else. You ain't got that type of, you know. To me, he don't got that type of man in him. You know what I'm saying? He just he just weak. I don't mind saying it. I ain't saying it. You know what I'm saying? I knew it might have been a problem when the dude was crying when he got hired. He couldn't believe it either. He couldn't believe it. He was, oh, I just love Arkansas. Man, key yourself. Now, I really have somebody. I want to I wanna go back and uh, talk about Ken Phillips. Um, Pittman has favorites. Now, That's true. I, I, I was talking to a... Um, well, a parent, and they was telling me that the reason why we never saw Bryce Stevens all year is because he got in he he got into it with Kenny Guy, mm. and Kenny he 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 talked bad to Kenny Guy because he wasn't getting out there playing. Now we all seen what what Bryce Stevens can do. He showed us yep. last year what he could do, but we didn't see him not one time all year long. He probably told Kenny Guy he was super trash. Yep. And then he didn't play him all year long. We seen like uh, 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 Augustov out here beast in the last two games. Where he been yep. all year? They've been trying to get Dabinion. And, and somebody pointed out that Dabinion's co the, the running backs coach is Dabinion's high school coach. That's the only yep. reason why he, he playing. Sound like some Gus Malzone stuff to me. Hey, man, sound like some favoritism, some good old boy. That's the good old boy thing. Well, we got a good guy, and hey, man, he did a, he did a really good job back there in high school. Let's give him a shot. That's He'll the reason, be all right. That's the reason why cats like Dozier ain't playing. Satania yep. ain't, getting the, ain't getting burned. Ain't getting you no know, reps. I'm, I'm going to bring up this one thing. Arkansas boys that go to, that go to Fayetteville. Why didn't why don't they never get on the field? Why we never see them? That's why we keep losing this in-state talent. The the little bit of a talent pool that we have, we can't keep them because they see what the other in I mean in I mean the in uh uh state talent does. Why would they do that? This been going mm -hmm. on since back. You remember remember Ten Penny? Mm -hmm. Ten Penny, I mean yeah. He went right to Alabama and, and rode the bench. Yep. Rode the bench. And he could have came to Arkansas that year and got some burn, but he chose not to because he seen what's been happening with the talent that's coming out of Arkansas. Yep. Some got to change. I mean, that's, I mean, some got to change. Mm -hmm. if, if football is going to be your premier sport, then guess what that's that's the money maker that's that's your money maker that's what they don't understand that's your money maker these boosters like we've been talking about they putting money in the buildings that's what they doing they was like man forget this this basketball i mean this football team forget them they ain't done nothing and i don't blame them i i can't even sit up here and say that i blame any booster for being like man y'all ain't showed me nothing Y'all ain't showed me nothing, man, since we talking about going on 10 years, bro. 10. Mm. 10. Man. We we going eight. <laughs> and, and, and gonna stay that way. And gonna stay me, that way. Let me read my suit. Let me read these super chats. Mama. There go that man. <laughs> we have the worst head coach in the SEC period. Thanks. 
I ain't, I ain't even gonna hold him on that. Facts. Who would have thought, man? Just who would have thought? Like going into the season, did y'all feel like that? Nah, nah, I did. Nah, I didn't. I didn't really feel like that, man. I thought we were gonna get get a little burn. Mr. TW, shout out to you. Whole new meaning to nice guys mm. finish last. Bruh, we last. And he nice. Nike the whole nuke the whole program tonight. I think that's what he was saying. Definitely. Which is why Hunter Hirachek need to be called in on that carpet and Bring be him told in front of the car to fire Sam Pittman. Whoever his boss is, he need to come, he need to come in and talk, talk that talk. But he man, he worked he, his boss is is the chancellor. Well, the chancellor, the, the chancellor need to stop. Man, eating. that chancellor don't know nothing about no football, man. Hey, man, he, he need to get off the Dunkin' Donuts, no, man. Man, he don't know nothing about no football. Somebody he just walked so. out there so. sucking on a piece of uh a uh, straw from a, a dog on me broom. He don't know nothing about no football, man. Man, what you said, hey. Shout out to Mr. TW, man, for super chatting. He said, man, we got 171, 70 viewers and 40 likes. Come on, y'all. Come on, Come y'all. On, y'all. Let's... Matter of fact, we got 182 in here. We got 50 likes. Man, Let's sh- go. show some love. Show your boy some love. We in here going off today. We going to, hey, just wait. We... <laughs> y'all just wait. Because we going to let them hogs out the pen in a little bit. And it's Let's going go. down. <laughs> we gonna talk about them bad tonight, baby. This guy. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. TW, man. We appreciate you supporting the channel. Uh oh, uh oh. We got a good. We got to read. Flex on him. Flex on him. <laughs> Why does it get the feedback? Anyway, checking in from the sandbox. What's good, family? <laughs> don't disrespect, yo. Don't disrespect Vandy like that. They will beat the brakes off us. Sam is oh, super trash, and he knows it. He knows he is untouchable because he's still working on the good old boy club. Hey, man, shout wow. out to you out there. And where he at? Saudi Arabia? Yep. Yeah, yeah, he's somewhere over there, man. Stay safe over there, man. We appreciate you supporting the channel, bro. That's what's up, baby. Man, I want to expand on these points, man. It's tomorrow I over there. Man, I don't know what time it is over there. What you? Well, I couldn't make out what you were saying, DJ. What you say? Man, I just want to expand on these points real fast. Everybody's saying about the Mr. Nice Guy mentality. Y'all know what? Y'all know what? What's so bad about the Mr. Nice Guy mentality when you play in a game like football? It spread to the whole team. If you go back and look at how the players reacted after getting beat down their last game of the season at home against Missouri, KJ was smiling, laughing, dapping it up with fans. If you listen to any of our players after a loss, they it's almost like it, it didn't you know you know we're gonna be okay we treat every game just like another game we're gonna be all, i want some you gotta get mad man i remember i used to lose a game in high school and our coach used to make us feel like he was gonna knock our heads off and it made us realize like man you gotta take this stuff serious when you get this nice guy mentality it spreads it's contagious and that's why you gotta chop the bit of the snake off it's, it's yep. nasty work, man. Just go look at the body language after that last loss. Did anybody on the Razorbacks look sad to y'all? Not no. a single one. <clears throat> KJ run around that thing so happy because he got some records. Man, nobody cares about a dude that, that had all these records and you losing. Bro, you set records. Man, you know how, I, boy, I got I to gotta remember where I'm at. You know I don't like that. He went around here giving game balls out, like I said. Giving game ball to his family, time you know, like you say, high five and everybody, bro. Y'all four and eight. What is you talking about? I wouldn't even <laughs> want to show my face, man. What you talking about, man? I, man, I'm bro. Hmm. Let me take me a deep breath because I'm, I'm really, I really want to get real barbershop on them, and I'm talking about the black folk barbershop and talk about it like I want to talk about it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hey man, hey! Shout out to Hustle Devil Sleep, man. Finally, a real podcast. Facts, hey man. That's facts, man. We love hey, our man. Razorbacks. Let's don't get it twisted. We absolutely, we love our Razorbacks, man. We do. And 
but we tired of that. And a lot of places can't say the stuff that we saying, even though it's true, it's true because all of us feel that way, you know, and that, and, and that brings up a point that I wanted to bring up. Why don't we try to institute something like they have for like the presidential uh, candidates and, and, the, and the president and have a job approval rating? You know what I'm saying? They do that a, a few times a year for the president that people elect. What's his approval rating? Hey, man, he, he's at a 42 percent or he's at a 52 percent. And anything less than par, your contract is predicated off of that. That's what I'm talking about because they people are upset. These are the people that that's buying tickets because guess what? I don't care who the head coach is. If you have a a, a, a stadium that hold eighty thousand people and only twenty thousand will show up, I promise you, change is coming. But that, those are the people that they want to continue to come. You want people to come and continue to pay eighty, hundred, two, three, four, fifteen hundred dollars to sit over there in that little raggedy end zone over there and watch them get beat up. Are you kidding me? You want me to pay fifteen hundred dollars to come over here because you say it's all inclusive? It's all inclusive. Well, we getting lap dances over here for fifteen hundred. Are you still giving us this old stale uh, popcorn and? concession food man get off my phone <laughs> hey shout shout out to uh hayden rose he said our o-line couldn't block a deleted phone number <laughs> oh. hey man thank you for supporting the channel man <laughs> that's yeah, that's, you know, bro i don't think they understand that man they don't understand what these people paying to sit in these indoor in that uh indoor club Man, them regular game tickets, you get season tickets over there, them jumps is $230 a game for a seat. Some of them more than that. You getting them boxes, man. You that's 10, 15 grand a game. Mm. All these indoor clubs that this place has got, all these nice seats that they putting in there. You want every you want that joint to be sold out. You want it to be sold out. But then that's the product that you're showing me. Are you kidding me? Man, that's like going to your favorite, you know, steak spot and you get sit down, you got your nice little suit on and you, you're getting ready to eat you a good old piece of meat and they bring out some spam and put it on your plate. <laughs> Mater D, come holler at me. I want everything back. <laughs> Mr. Bloodline said, Petrino used to tell, his, tell a player that blew his ACL out Walk it off. <laughs> real. That's the last time we had somebody that wasn't a good old boy. Mm. Yeah, he wasn't a good old boy because they didn't save him. Hey, man. Well, hey, y'all know how we do things around here on the Woo Pig podcast, man. Man, it's 30 it's, minutes. It's, it's 30 minutes, man. That's all we get, man. The rest of the show, hey, it's on y'all, baby. We appreciate everybody who supports the channel, man. Thank you for your super chats. Help us pay some bills around here. Anyway, that's right. That's right. Hey, these hey. Let's go. I need one. Well, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're not subscribed to the channel, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 2000 by December 31st. Help us get there. Don't forget to like man. and subscribe. Hey, share this video on your socials, wherever you at. Put us out there. Let them know where it's a, it's a real podcast out here. that's talking about real stuff, real feelings, how we really feel as hog for real. And we can't even get these suckers to hit the like button, man. We can't even get them to do that. <laughs> we, got, in here. we can't even get them to hit the like button. I mean, what y'all doing? I, I, I really be wondering. Y'all, they just sitting back, laid up on the bed, and just watching us, laughing and giggling and stuff. Man, this is a good <laughs> podcast, but you can't hit the like button. Y'all yeah, some boy, I appreciate y'all, but y'all some y'all kind of funny acting. Hey man, I, you know who we ain't seen? We ain't seen Tonka Todd or Boss Hog in here tonight, man. What's really going you know, on? I know, right? We ain't seen hey. either one of them. Hey, shout out to Tonka Todd, man. He gonna be he gonna be on our SEC Weekly channel now, man. Check him out. He gonna be on there full time. Him and him and the guy Mo. So make sure you check them out, man. They are gonna be uh, coming with some fresh content tomorrow, man. So make sure you guys are tap in for that. Yeah, I wish I could get my camera to uh, focus right. Just fo hold your hand up to like this, and then it'll focus on your hand, and then move it over. Hmm. Uh... Mm. 
Mm. Maybe you. No, I'm looking at it. Call, call, <laughs> April, tell her, call April and tell her to tap on the box on your face. The tap on your face and it'll show autofocus. Anyway, hey, the, the link is in the description, guys. I mean, if you want to come up and kick it with us, it's on y'all. Right. If, if y'all don't no. want to come up and kick it with us, hey, y'all making it too easy tonight. DZ, I know you have some stuff you want to talk about, though. Hey, man, come voice your frustrations with us, man. I got I got a couple of things to talk about, man. I, any of these good topics that y'all heard us talk about that y'all feel like y'all didn't get to get y'all point across, man, come on down, man. Hop on here real quick. You can just have an iPhone. You can still click the link and it'll work, man. Whatever you whatever you got, we'll work with you. That's what we do. Okay. We're here to bring fans whatever y'all need, man. Like, comment, subscribe. How do y'all feel about us retaining Sam Pittman? How do y'all feel about our chances to get an adequate offensive coordinator when he might mess around and get fired next year with Pittman if it ain't no success? What what kind of state is this program in? It's sad right now, y'all. It's scary. And I truly don't know how to feel. I'm I'm hopeless. And I hate to say that, man. I'm I'm truly hopeless right now. We got players, we got team captains leaving in the transfer portal right now. Like we it's it's dire times. Like I I don't know what else to say, man. It's 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 getting really, really ridiculous. We got we got programs that's making way less than us or supposedly making way less than us, buying out their coaches. And we sticking around with old Sam because we need some extra NIL money. We got Jerry Jones, who got a grandson playing at Texas. So his money might be out the cookie jar. It's just, it's scary right now, man. And I don't see no hope. Like, we supposed to be a basketball school. We ain't even got to get on that yet. We're going to probably say that for another day. Yeah, but. that's what we need. To, we need to talk about. I mean, we missed a lot, man, over the weekend. Hey, shout out to William Richards, man, for the super sticker, man. We appreciate you always, man. <laughs> Always supporting the channel, man. Every time, man. We appreciate you. Let's let's talk about these this hog basketball squad, man. Because we, we did miss a lot, man. We missed them boys. They lost two games uh while we was gone. Uh they lost to UNC and they lost to Memphis. Hey, th this hog basketball squad is not looking up to par, man. They not. And as always, when we got high hopes, we always get let down. Always get let down, man. Mama, there goes uh -oh. that man. Box. There goes that man. Talk to us, man. Uh, he got to he got to get his audio together. <laughs> well, somebody, every time we get online, he gonna have to put this thing on airplane mode so people don't call him while he online. Hey, Nick, we talked about that today, man. Poo Paul is out, man. He is out. Hey, Ken Phillips, I, he's our Super Chat sponsor today. He said, well, 100 year check should have fired Pittman because his job most likely on the line as well. Sad. Everybody, I'm telling you, man, they need to set a fire and burn it down. Mm. Burn it down. But Look, while man. we wait, I'd like you to make sure Dr. Bell and everybody buying fries but you ain't selling no tacos you're gonna get fired we footballers will pay the bills man we can have the best tennis the best track the best whatever you want to say football pay the bills man mm -hmm. yeah that's fact that's fact once again once again we'd like to give a big shout out to our official sponsor 3m electric they're serving northwest arkansas they are your trusted commercial and residential contractor as a SDVOSB. And for you guys that don't know what that means, that is a service disabled veteran owned small business. So they are dependable and reliable, and no job is too big or too small. So when it comes to all of your electrical needs, hey, please contact our friends at 3M Electric at 479 408. 9865 and use the promo code who big podcast man they got something special for you box that dude he about he like me man. difficulties man man i'm on but my 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 camera is not focusing william richard says okay i'm eating crow man i was wrong when i said the score of the halls will be 38 35 over the tigers yeah william you we absolutely are, are man we 
But I don't. If, as fans, we want we want to be like I told y'all was right. They was gonna win. That's not right. But unfortunately, man, we just ain't got what it takes, man. We ain't got what it takes. I mean, that's just the black two sugars. Box. How how are you worse at home? How 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 do you play your worst ball games in front of your friends and family? Make it make sense. Mm. Not just worse. I mean, they just getting, I mean, annihilated, just thrashed at home. Hey, shout out to Never Nervous for supporting the channel. He says, I supported Pippen from the start, but I I admit he is not head coach material after the answer he gave Trey Biddy in the press yep. conference. 501. Bro, we hey, said that. No lies detected, man. Huh. Hey, we talked about uh, G brought that up earlier about what he said to Trey Biddy. I don't know. Next question. That's what I'm saying. Next question. That means he ain't even want to address it. He ain't. He ain't even want to address it. Box, what's up, baby? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> we need to, we need to get Box a mic, man. To get get him official tissue, man. He need a mic. Hey, <laughs> you know I had to get my real buzz. You had to get my real buzz right. Box, man. What you what's the state? How you feeling about? Tell us how you feel about the the hogs in general, football, basketball, man. Wherever you want to take us tonight, man. Y'all remember when John L. Smith became head coach? Yeah. Smile. Huh? Don't remember. Y'all remember, when John, L. Smith, y'all, yeah. y'all remember when John L. Smith became head coach? Yep. Yeah. I thought he was. I thought he was gonna do something. Man, that do well. Yeah, you know that. Hey, hey, we we right there right now. Yeah. Oh my God! Don't, don't even. That's that's that 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 hurt to say. Think we we think they just gonna uh uh you think our boost just gonna up uh, and start paying but with NAL money? No around for a minute. They ain't finna start doing that. They just saying that just to keep us fans happy. They ain't finna do nothing but what they've been doing, which is nothing. That's, and and yeah. I, I and I begin to I begin to wonder. <laughs> Did Hunter Yurchek lie to us when he said when he announced Pippen was gonna be the head coach that it was excitement? They ain't showed no video of that. You know they got video of everything. No, they ain't showed no video. They ain't, yeah, they ain't show no video of that. It's video everywhere. If they can show us video of them watching that that car type of show, they gonna they gonna show us videos of that right there. I see nothing. Maybe that was a lie. I agree. If any of the fans who don't know what Box talking about, um, apparently when uh, Hunter Yurichek spoke with the football team at the end of the season and told them that he was keeping Pittman, they said the team was elated and ecstatic and everybody was so excited. Well, why everybody in the transfer portal then? Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would have had to be released on their website. I mean, on their own social media page. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I ain't uh, box. we got to uh-oh. get you on this. Hey, Wesley White, he said, "What box got to say about the court? His quarterback, Chris Well, performance." Ooh, yeah, bro, box. We got to hey, bring you in front of the congregation, bro. We got to bring you in front of the congregation. Hey, <laughs> hey that boy hey, was trash. I, trash. Was terrible. Hey, you remember what I? Hey, you remember what I told y'all that night? <laughs> You remember what I, you remember what I told y'all that night? You better what night? Told what you told us, hey, but Chris Well was I'm dumped red, the juice. I, I told, I told that whole team had done oh, given up yeah. against Auburn. Uh, you had players <laughs> already looking. You had players looking to transfer out right after the game. That I mean they was already thinking about that. They had gave up. Mm-hmm. Davion Doza, soon as soon as the game was over, with, Davion Doza trying to ask was there an open spot. On Missouri team. <laughs> so so I, I'm not gonna even blame Chris Wall for that. I blame the I blame the team had done just giving up. But period. But, but Davion Dozier wasn't playing anyway. So we don't care about him. What we talking about is Chris Ware. Bro, what did bro, how would hey, you assess hey, his performance? Did you think he did a good I, job? I, 
I still rather have yeah. Chris Well than, than KJ any day. Man, Chris Well looked like a deer deer with the headlights in his face, bro. That boy looked like hey, he was so, just. Hey, so what, was, what, you think, what, what you think? What you? What you think KJ was doing before he got hurt? He wasn't lighting it up. <laughs> we don't know. He was only out there two plays. Chris Ware had <laughs> no, he was out there more than, game. He, was, he, he, he was out there more than that, but he wasn't lighting it up when he was out there. Man, he was out there more, two, literally two, maybe two series. Bro, come, he was out there long, bro. He, he got hurt early. That hey, hey, and that was long enough not to move the offense, not score no points, and and, and that was the old receiver. But Bob. <laughs> You've been I, yelling Chris Well, Chris Well, Chris Well all season long. Bro, he I got in the even, game and even, did nothing. Bro, I didn't even care. Put Chris Well in against Auburn when, when it meant something. Put mm. Chris Well in against, 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 other, against other team when it meant something. That last game didn't mean nothing to nobody. That's a fact. Hey, it, I, it, I, it didn't mean nothing I, to us. I, <laughs> It, it, really, it didn't mean nothing to us, but if I'm a player who needs to put some film, put some put some out there on the t- on the on the on the vine and say this is what I can do, it means something to me. Oh, 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 D, oh, D. It ain't meant nothing. All, it ain't meant nothing all season to them guys. Why it gonna mean something on the last game of the season? Because Chris Well needs to put some on tape. If he wanna if he wanna go do something somewhere else, he need to put some on he, tape. He still got other ten other players that gotta do something with him. Mm. Up. Hey, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this, and then we are gonna go to Boss Hall. We are gonna go to Boss Hall after I say this. To, KJ KJ Hall. showed his greatness dealing with that offensive line because Chris Well couldn't have done anything. Hey, and I'm gonna tell you this right here, Box. If they had not, if they if they had not stopped blitzing Chris Well, they would have never got no points. He would have never did anything. If he wouldn't have been able to actually stop, if they had stopped listening, oh, oh. the defensive coordinator felt sorry for him. How many points did we score? It don't matter. It don't how, many, matter. how many points did we score? Bro, 14. Yeah, 14. So we scored 14 points, and KJ played the whole game against the team, against a game that matters against Auburn, and scored three. So mm. what is what is your point? Hey, <laughs> they only scored, hey, they only, can, they only can, scored because... Hey, Wait a minute. He could even score 14 points with Auburn just putting their third string. Whoa. So what is your point? Golly. Hey, that pow, pow. Man, whatever, <laughs> what, man. What, what, He's what still deflecting. Point? He's still deflecting. No, Chris no, Well is do, trash. Trash, trash, trash. What you doing, what you, wait, what, what you doing is sound like uh, what you doing is sound like trash. him. Hey, you sound stupid like your coach Pittman. No, no, no. You sound stupid. No, stupid. No, you been yelling, no, you been yelling no. that fool game all hey, his name hey, all year. And he hey, was dumpster hey, juice. Hey, straight OD, booty juice trash. OD, he sucked. OD, he sucked. OD, he sucked. You just OD, say it. Say it. He OD, sucked. He sucked. Oh no. You he sound sucked. stupid. I want you to say OD. it with your chest. He sucked too. He all sucked. Right, he couldn't right, do nothing with the offensive line. He sucked. I say it. I say it. OD. We just want to win. <laughs> we want to win. You didn't, hey, give us some of you, baby. No arguments. No arguments. We just want to win. Guys, stop fighting. Guys, it's the little hey. brother. Please stop fighting. Hey, Boss Hog, what's going on with you, man? We missed you early. I'm like, Boss Hog ain't here. Talking Todd ain't here. What's going on, fellas? Man, what's Thanks. going on with you, Boss Hog? Ooh, man, man, man. Me and Taco Ty have been talking all weekend long. <laughs> well, we bringing people together, bro. Look at us, man. We bringing <laughs> what you think about hey, it, Boss Hog? Odie, I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm on box side on this one. Oh, we are on box side on this one. 12 for 20 for, nine, for 96 yards. Trash. No, 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 check it out. Super that one trash. touchdown pass that Chris Will threw. Do you honestly believe that KJ could have made that pass? Hey man, by the time he made a touchdown <laughs> pass, me and Box was Bro, outside talking. We, we didn't care less. We could care less about hey. that. I wasn't even watching when he threw that touchdown pass. But, the game was over. Just, I was done. Hey. Answer the question. I didn't. I didn't see it. I gotta go back and watch the video. I don't even. The score was like a hundred to nothing. Who cares? We weren't gonna win. G. They, they got the G. little Juco running it? back out there running over I, us. I did see the touch pass. He threw it in a bucket. Do you think KJ could have made that made that touchdown? You think he could have threw it? I mean, maybe one out of maybe one out of ten times. 
Memphis. <laughs> you know we, what we, we see what I'm saying? I mean, Maybe what, KJ, one has, out of KJ, has, KJ has underthrown, thrown behind oh, people. Bro. That's fact. Ten, hey, ten yards we see, we see Chris Well do the same thing on that slam. Let the man talk. Let the man. He did the same thing. He did the same thing. Stop it. Let the man talk. Let the man talk. Let let the man yeah, talk. Y'all blind out here. Y'all tripping. Let the man yeah. talk. Odie, yeah. he was only one talk. game. Do do you yeah. actually believe Chris Well get, get all the reps with the first team um, in practice? I no. I think I think Chris Well would have did the same exact thing that we saw him do this game in all the other games. The offensive line couldn't block, so guess what? He would have got tattooed just like just like uh, anybody else that they would have put back there. Malachi single with their mama up there talking about, put my baby in the game. Put my baby. Let that fool get in there. Let him run out there and get smashed. But see, it's only been two games. It's only been two yeah. games that he played, and we don't even actually know. Singleton probably would have did better. Boy, bye. Come on, man. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, you put you put you put Criswell in there, and that one game, what he do? Ran for sixty yards. KJ couldn't do it. KJ too big Man. and too slow. Oh come on, he he too big, big and too slow. I mean, I mean he, he, a squirrel he wanna he wanna truck then. he wanna he wanna truck somebody over. Yeah, he can run somebody over. He can probably sling a guy off of him. But is KJ actually gonna get a, a seventy yard touchdown run? Nope. Jay Daniels he he weighed what a buck seventy five. Look at he look what he doing. Mm. He can take the hits. You know. <laughs> I, I, me personally, I, I, I just, I'm ready for KJ to go. I wish that me gentleman would have played the last game. You know what I'm saying? And put Criswell, Singleton in there. You know, whether they did good or did bad, you at least had an idea what they could do. Because Pittman say all the time, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they did good. They did good in practice and stuff. They deserve to play. Come the next game, what do they do? So we're going to sit on the bench. Mm. Ain't putting them in at all. We had a bunch you know, of players. So. But so we had a bunch of players this year. I, I, do you not agree? We kind of touched on this earlier. We had several players this year that were great practice players. Oh, yeah, um, a yeah. lot. Great, great practice players, but never saw the field. Why do you think that is? One of the questions that we asked <laughs> earlier, I don't know if you heard it or not, is do you think that our coaches – Operate off the good old boy favoritism system. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I ain't gonna say all of them. I ain't gonna say all of them. But Pittman, the off the offensive side, I would say yes, because the running back coach, uh, he got what players from Georgia and Florida. You know, they knew him in high school. I mean, uh, Rocket coach uh, in high school knew uh, Jimmy Carter from uh, when he was at college. You know, so. Pittman, of course. I mean, you see what he did to the offensive line. He didn't. He didn't take nobody off the offensive line unless they was hurt. You know, he he let them just play all game, even though how much how many times we see them all on their back. You know, mm-hmm. so yeah. So I, box, yeah, I see that. You think that box? Do you think uh, Pittman? Or I, I'm not gonna even just say. Well, Pittman is the ultimate. You know, he he approves lineups. I mean, he should as a head coach. As a head coach, I mean, you can present to me who your best players are this week in practice, and I can pick the lineups. So do you think Pittman is playing favoritism? What do you think, Box? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. is. Let me ask y'all this. How many players got better under Pittman? Mm. We talked about that, too. They, there's not real nah. player development. He don't, he don't, he, they, he don't, his coaches, he, his coaching don't make players better. Let me, let me tell you, ask y'all something else. How many players, when Pippen was at Arkansas, played in the NFL? Offensive line. He had How many of Pippen with Arkansas? Uh, as, a, as a head How coach or as an offensive line coach? As, as an offensive line coach. We had Dan. He played, what, he played one year? He had, he had about I mean, seven. Yeah. Uh, who was that? Who was that? He had Dan Skipper. Frank Ragnow, uh, Sebastian Satola. Frank Frank Ragnow is the only one, really. And uh, Man, you had uh, several years in the league. I mean, so I mean, you, you had. I mean, he had some guys that that went. Yeah, but is this player supposed to be on the bench or are they supposed to be starting? He's supposed to be an offensive yeah. line guru. The only one that really started was Frank Ragnow. The rest of them were just journeymen, just latching on because they had a big body. 
So well, basically what yeah. you're saying though is that so so really what I hear you saying is that Pittman really ain't the guru that he's been bought up to. I mean that he's been billed as, right? Any anybody can do a lot when you got five star talent like at Jordan. You build him up at Arkansas. So he can't recruit either. Pippen no, name recruit. recruited. Pippen name recruited. Mm. His name got built up so high, right there got him recruits. Mm. But he didn't develop. Him. I mean, he, he got hey he got to do from Florida this year. He was a seasoned player at Florida. What did he do this year? He digressed. Mm. Pittman is a Pittman is a product of of five star recruits, not necessarily a offensive line guru. Because what have Georgia been doing ever since Pittman left? They supposed to have a drop off since he's so good. He won championships after Pittman left. So I don't think Pittman is, is is as good of offensive line as he advertised. Because if he was, our offensive line wouldn't be this atrocious that we had this year. It's impossible when you're the head coach and your offensive line that bad. Mm. I got a question for the whole panel. Now, go before you bring that question to everybody, I got my guy, Scout King, refugee on the line. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Let's hear it from the Scout King. It, it, Scout, Scout King. King has, <laughs> Scout King has said something consistently that that we that we really weren't trying to listen to. Scout uh-uh. King said Scout King said five games ago, it's time to bring in the guys that's on the bench and see what you got. Facts. He also said he was gonna win out, but I digress. I, I don't remember that, DZ. I, I that may have been me that said that. You you confusing me with Scout King, bro. Scout King, is you on the line, bro? Scout King, you there? Said that. He, he, he ain't the only one said that. He is the only one you want to agree with. Who, me? You. He ain't the only one saying nothing about the bench player. He just the only one. You, you don't want to agree with us, so you're going to throw what's, him out what's there. The, so let's for, get for, the people, for the people in the chat, what's the most memorable thing that you know about box? Was it that they was going to win out or was Chris Well better than, than, than KJ? That's what he been saying. That's probably what y'all I, I remember. Most, him from. Most memorable thing about box is this: he don't like KJ. Yeah, we were right. Exactly. I don't, I, and, I, and, I don't, and I don't think it's he's pro. I don't think he's pro Chris Royal. He pro who, anybody but KJ. If it was another guy in there, he would be like, put him in. Mm. That's what I say. So, Scout King, you on the line with us? Hello, Scout King. What's going on, man? Yeah. Oh, not much. Not hey, much. so so I told you I was gonna hit you yeah. up, get and give you some time to to get it out. This is the last football game of the season, so I know you want to. I know you want to say a little with your chest, man. So the floor is yours for the next three to four minutes. <laughs> uh, well, it, it, everything. Let me see. There we go. There we go with laugh all over again. Cause let me let me talk about. Let me talk about my, my stuff. Like I say, I'm the last one in the barber shop once again. Cause I told y'all from the very first phone call how the season was gonna play out, and y'all laughed to me about putting in Augusta against BYU. Why would you do that? Let me tell y'all something, man. That's why I knew y'all didn't know nothing about football. Mm. Listen, you can put any freshman on the country in the country. I don't care if you're a two star from uh Alma, Arkansas, get these boys about 10 plays. Give them 10 plays to get on the field. If you can't remember 10 plays on the Division One level, I don't need you. Should nobody else need you. That's how you get freshmen on the field. And I told you, this is a child's game. This ain't, this ain't no rocket science. Yeah, I'm going to put that boy in the game. There early. I'm going to put all them boys in because, like I say, I got 10 plays to play you, and you better know them. And guess what? I'm still being in and out for, to keep my team fresh. Everybody else in the country play true freshmen. 
But we got a problem. And, and that same phone call, and I say, Arkansas is notorious for hiding talent on the bench. I said that first. On my very first phone call, y'all laughed. And it went off because I gave my K.J. Jefferson analogy. But yet this has been going on for decade after decade after decade. You know what I'm saying? And, and back in 2019, K.J. was the best talent on the field up there, Arkansas quarterback. He was better than Stoney Case. And uh, both of them quarterbacks he brought in from what's called. He was the best thing up there. Mm, so my film on this show is is the more accurate than anybody on here from predictions and just telling you what's going on and what I see. And that last phone call I made, didn't I tell y'all? I said we on the verge of better jump off the edge of the uh, 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 off into the uh, the abyss in the black hole. I said we real close, and it's gonna be for ten long years once again. Mm. Yeah, it feel, I feel bad about it. But guess what? Didn't I tell you? I said, the end of all this smoke. We got Pittman. But guess what I said? You end up with somebody like me. But guess what? I know how to get the job done. <laughs> See what I'm saying? And when I brought in when I brought in my little low budget, my low budget stuff, I brought it. I was talking about D one coaches, D one two coaches. Guess what? Because a D one, a D two running back ran all over us. You know what I'm saying? For the past two years. You know what I'm saying? You got to know football. They don't care nothing about you from D, D1, a D2, a D3. If you can play ball, come on. Let's go win games. If you're a D1-2 coach, a D3 coach, you know how to coach players up and develop them, come on. Let's go win ball games. You on my team all day. <laughs> that's all I got to say. And I'm going to hang it on. Well, I'm I'm glad that's all you got to say because you had you was you had one more time to say we didn't know nothing about no football. It's going to be some smoke in the city, man. We know about football. Now we may not know what you say you know, but I know what I, I know. don't know. I don't know about that, G Home. I don't know about that because after the after the BYU game, and haven't I been right about what we're going to do, NKJ? Yeah, I mean I can't tell. I mean. Yeah, you've been right. So I mean, he ain't the only one, but I ain't, I ain't bragging about chest. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all, I told y'all. Y'all know. Ed, man, these other people been saying the same thing. Fact. Man, hey, you know, first the, of all, the, the, be, the beauty. The, the beauty up? about our podcast is this, man. And we created it this way. Who you want to get credit to? Well, you can say whatever you want to say because it's your opinion. You just did. You just. It's did. the barbershop. It's the bottom shop. And that's why we wanted to do it like this. Exactly. So, hey, the bad little brother, I, uh, you got something you want to say, man. So go ahead and say it with your chest, man. First of all, scout team, uh, <laughs> love, love, scout team, punter. You the last one in the barbershop because you got wing worms. All right? Don't tell us what we know about the game. You feel me? Because my, my mama said, I know about the game. I, I got some words for you, dog. Look, first of all, what is you talking about? You you can't coach nothing. Who you on a scout team? Do you know what scout team mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me. Hey, so DZ, you said you had a question for everybody, man. So let's uh let's run that. All right. So my question for the panel is, yay or nay? Do y'all think we will get an offensive coordinator that can save this program next season? Yes or no? Mm. I'm gonna say no. As long as no, as long as Pittman there. Uh. Uh-uh. It ain't gonna work. Ain't nothing gonna work out. As long as Pittman's the head hog there, I see Arkansas winning maybe three games next year. Ooh, winning three. Box. I don't think so because Pittman gonna make him do what he want to do. Hmm. 
Well, and, there, and, well, there, and there's a chance that Pittman might not even. Well, there's a chance that Pittman probably won't even be there come next season. Because, the, mm. I mean, you can do to my life. I, I would say at least 75% of the state is against Pittman being there. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a lot of people, you know, and at the pressure bill, you know, Pittman don't do, he don't do good with pressure. He That's folds clear. under pressure. He folds under pressure. I mean, so if the pressure keep, keep keeps going and keeps going, he might just he might just retire. He ain't gonna quit. I doubt he's it's quit. a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure right now. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. Of a lot. Right and it, it, and and just to answer Deezy's question, for me, I don't think so. I don't think he's he's going to make the right hire because what he's what is he actually going to say? What's his sales pitch? What is his sales pitch? Because number one, Kenny Guyton is not going to get the job. I mean, I would be surprised if they don't use somebody else as a scapegoat instead of you. I mean, making another scapegoat, uh, Kennedy, which is the O line coach. They're going to keep him, and they'll be like, "Well, they'll they'll hang all the offensive stuff on on Guyton on the last four games." That's not Kenny. That ain't Kenny's fault. And they're not going to give him the OC job because of the performance of the last four games. Now, they won that one game down there in Florida. And and so that's why I want to – I mean, that's why I'm saying I don't know what is going to be his sales pitch uh, to anybody. It doesn't matter. You know, we've thrown it around. uh, This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. What is the sales pitch? Because Pittman has to pitch that guy. It ain't the AD that pitches that guy. He hires his own OCs. He hires his own staff. Who does he have a relationship with? Who does he really think that ain't watched or heard about the debacle that he's in? People understand, man, this dude, they're watching some of the plays, some of the mismanaged uh, clocks. All of these things, they've watched it on national TV. That's the only thing that, that, that that's a good, uh, a blessing and a curse is when you play in the SEC, man, you get a lot of airtime. So people, your flaws, people see them. What is he going to say? What is How is he going to pitch that? So I don't think so. I mean, this this right here, like, like Boss Hall said, as long as he is the head hog, I mean, we just doomed. Od, I can see. So we we still got Scal King on the line. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Scal King that question. Scal King, do we get a good offensive coordinator to come work for with Sam Pittman? No. <laughs> the right, the right, the right is on the wall. Mm. Didn't I say that earlier, fellas? Yep. Y'all taught me how to making that thumbnail that said the writing is on the wall, but. But he he said what I just said. The writing's on the wall. Nobody wants to work with Sam. He's a lame duck, which is why Hunter Hirachek should have fired him. No, China, no, dude. Who? Yeah. Who want to say that again? Don't, uh, be, don't, uh, don't, don't, don't be surprised if he can't get nobody else and, and Cheney come. No, nah, Cheney ain't coming. I don't think Cheney coming. Man, they, hey, that's, a, that's an olive branch. Cheney, Cheney throw the olive branch to Pittman for years. He might try to throw it back to training. Mm. Yeah, well, they I best that. friends. They best they, they, friends. Close. But guess what? But guess what, fellas? We ain't gonna have nobody. We ain't gonna have nobody, bro. We we we. It's over, bro. It's over. We ain't finna get nobody to come to Arkansas worthwhile <laughs> no more. That's why I say, bro. We, if we ain't finna get ready to, to learn how to really uh, develop talent and, uh, and and know how to look at talent, we it's all we went for the football program. First of all, I don't believe that we ain't getting nobody because money talks. So he can kill me with that. You throw the okay. right money in front of somebody, okay. even if it is six million, even if it is six million dollars, somebody making somebody making three million dollars will come for six million dollars. So we can get somebody. That's you can miss me with that. Okay, let me tell you. We, we let me, can, yeah, let, let, me, tell let me, me tell you something. Look, hey, hey, box. Like I'm gonna tell you just like I tried to hit the uh, Z home. 
I done told y'all, it ain't no money up there. They took out money for loans back in 2020 and COVID to pay bills. I know this. Y'all should know that. Ain't nobody brought that up. They ain't got no money, bro. Arkansas do not have the money, bro. That's why they make it a move. They make it now. If you don't want to believe it, you know what I'm saying? You just say you don't want to believe it. But trust me, we're going to see all this play out about this money. We're going to see how it works. Just remember what you said. There's money up there. People go going to pay it. Watch how much money is going to happen for us, and there ain't going to be no results. It ain't going to be no money, bro. Let me tell you why I know it's some money no up money. there. We still I'm telling putting, you that now. Hey, we, we, we still putting 70 bucks in the 70,000 bucks in the seats. That's money. The, the, the basketball team that went to Elite Eight, that's money. We get 70 million, 70 million plus a year. Hey, we get we get 70 million plus a year from the SEC. That's money. So the money is there. So don't get it twisted about the money. You said 70. I, somebody, 70. somebody posted earlier in, <laughs> in the Discord how much Arkansas football nets after paying bills. $31 million. Was the was the was the total that they net? Basketball was five. Some of the other sports lose money. That ain't no money, bro. I understand, but that what I'm no- saying is that they making some money. I ain't saying it's a whole bunch of money. I'm just, I mean, to me, it's a whole bunch of money. What you talking about? Ain't no money. I, know, man, I just I, say listen, that, listen. Let me explain my case. Nah, nah. <laughs> listen here, fool. Hopefully, you can see Arkansas. If Arkansas hey. had to. Just COVID. Everybody had to feel some COVID. So why are we broken everybody up? Explain that since you got all the answers. <laughs> Listen, check this out, bro. All right, you just gave us, you gave us a 40, almost a forty million dollars. Just say all the sports with all the profits, we got fifty million, sixty million dollars, bro. There ain't no money in the big scope of uh, collegiate sports and going to twenty twenty four, bro. That ain't no money at all. But guess what? That don't mean we can't compete. That don't mean, listen, that don't mean we can't compete. You got to get the right people in place. And you can't be scared to do it. I told y'all they were going to make the wrong decision. I told you they pig-headed. They would not do it. Hey, we that's that's a dare. I, said, I mean, I said at, this, all this, at this point, it's a, that's a dare horse. That's day. what we all saying. They, they chose wrong. Everybody know that now. Everybody no, can see that. I, okay, I, I know that. But I'm just saying, I said it before. Everybody said that Arkansas is not going to make the right decisions, period. They just not going to do it. <laughs> so, we got lucky it, with Petrino. We got real so, lucky. We got so real who, lucky for two and a half good seasons with Petrino. So, uh, Scout King, who's making the decisions? We got real then? lucky, bro. Listen to me. I'm asking you. Bro, who's somebody who's that, making... somebody don't know that? So that's what <laughs> somebody I'm saying. Okay, know that. Since, since you know if it's not if it's not the, if it ain't the AD. So you're saying it ain't the AD, right? It ain't Hunter Urechek making the decisions because apparently, you know, uh this hire that he hired, I mean, with Sam Pittman, that was his that was his football hire because he didn't hire the other ones because he wasn't there. So is it is it someone above them? It ain't the chancellor, cause he don't know nothing about football. Uh, okay, I'm I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm gonna, let me say this. Let me say this. Maybe this maybe this go make sense to y'all. But OD, I, I, I remember when we had a phone call. I remember I was telling you about when I said something about blank sports, and I said sometimes it's all about some teams just go play the bottom just cause. They check everybody talking about we keep making, but this is the deal, bro. Up here in Arkansas, they're like, G Holmes, you was right. We go get Walmart, uh, Tyson, and whoever else to make to get builders or whatever. The corporations are making decisions for Arkansas. The corporations. They they don't know nothing about football. They know how to run businesses, but they don't know how to run a football program. So, hey, let me say this. Head, I just, I, corporations are running it. Hey, I want you to put this in your head for a minute. I just Googled it for you. Remember, remember when I say a while ago that Arkansas gets 70 million from the, from the SEC for football last year? I don't care what the bottom line is. I'm talking about for football. They got 83.6 million alone from the SEC last year for football. I don't care what the bottom line is. I'm telling you what they're getting from football. 
from the SEC a year. A year. That's mm-hmm. money. He fact checked you, Scout hey, King. I want to. I want to highlight Matt's comment right here, man. Because Matt said, <laughs> "Hit you with some facts right here, Scout King." He says Arkansas is the thirteenth most profitable football program in the country. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> out of one thirty-one. Okay. okay. Y'all out of hundred, I was gonna say out of hundred and thirty-one teams. I don't know. You faded. I can't can y'all hear you. Explain to me that. Can y'all explain to me that why come y'all posted it right up on the thing that uh, Houston can pay out fifteen million, and other people, and we scared to pay out sixteen million, and we got so bro, much money beside, and uh, and bro, dollars. That, bro, that's beside the point. We talking about what you done brought to the table. <laughs> what you doing? We okay. talking about what, what you talking okay. about? What okay. <laughs> Box, box, you ain't brought nothing to the table other than talking about KJ and, and, and blaming on KJ and see somebody else and all of that. Hey, you ain't brought nothing to the table. You, hey, hey, it's like Cat uh, Williams. Hey, it's like Cat Williams. I broke, hey, I broke, listen, listen, listen. Nah, bro. You ain't broke you nothing. For, for you broke a glass. I already know. You broke a glass. You broke a glass, <laughs> but you ain't broke nothing in this podcast. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Well, yeah, we ain't gonna let you be the judge of that. You just mad. You just mad because you ain't brought nothing. But it ain't about me or you. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, one thing it about it. Hey, I ain't never mad at you. It ain't. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. Either. I ain't never mad at you. I'm just. Hey, I'm. I'm just gonna call you back out on your bull crap. You know what hey, I'm anybody say? Hey, hey, anybody say? In, anybody hey, man, say hey, talking about that, man. hey, wait a minute. Anybody say hey a hundred times, they lying. <laughs> y'all ain't, y'all ain't neither one of y'all talking about nothing. <laughs> boss Hall, we going to come to you, Boss Hall. Put that meat to him. Boss Hall, we going to come to you, man. Boss Hall, make, make this stuff make some sense, man. I mean, they got money up there. It just, uh, your check pulled the trigger too soon. And Pitt, Pittman, put, Pittman put him in the bind by uh, by talking about, you know, NIL and this and that, you know. So the next thing you know, Hunter Year check, yeah, yeah, we support Pittman. We support Pittman. But it turned uh, – listen to some uh, people this weekend. They was uh, – they had they got the money to fire Pittman. They were going to fire Pittman if Pittman had lost to FIU. They was gonna pay him if he'd have lost the FIU, but since he beat FIU, you know they took it as. But yeah, we can't we can't go back on it now. But uh, it don't but it don't matter what they do. It, they it don't. beat FIU I mean, so. and just got mollywhopped by Missouri. I mean, they didn't yeah. even show up. The, 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 the mean, defensive it, coordinator just felt sorry for him and said, "You know what? I'm just gonna run a base defense on these guys. I'm just gonna run cover two, see what they can do with it. They couldn't even do nothing with that." It, no. it was trash. My bo- hey, shout out to my boy Light Skin Lost Man for putting me on that drink. I I missed the second half of the game. I don't even know what happened. Hey, 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 you, hey, 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 you was toast. <laughs> so, hey, so we play dominoes. One thing we do every time we get together, man, is we play dominoes. So Los made a hey, Los made made OD a couple of drinks and 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 side note OD really ain't no drinker right so <laughs> OD has one drink and we ain't even talking about no big drink we talking about a little a little bitty drink glass by like this he take it to the head ah he make me another one of them make hey, another one of these one of these <laughs> hey, I'm, one hey, of bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he took another one to the head. Wow, we over there. We playing dominoes while the game on. We playing dominoes. Boom. All of a sudden, OD, you know, he talked a lot of trash playing dominoes. All of a sudden, bow, he hit the table. Quarter house. <laughs> <laughs> so we all just kind of just, it was me, uh, light skin, Los, and uh, who was that on the other side? Chank. Uh, oh, yeah, and Chanky. And we all we all looked at each other. We was like, "Bro, that's seventeen. Where you get twenty five? <laughs> man, they drank on my dome. Can I get a water, please? <laughs> oh my God, it was priceless, man. 
Hey man, hey shout out to the Hall Wild Podcast man for supporting the channel. He says, "Hunter, your check is using that money to fund these other sports on campus, my brothers. Uh, those programs like volleyball and soccer are using some of the bread uh, to function." Hey, that's fact. They, they always use that. They always use that. that. I mean, yeah. that's, they, I mean that, that's no, that's not breaking news. None of those yeah. other sports really make that type of money. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of those other sports actually lose money. So yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah absolutely, one hundred percent. Yeah, because they have to pay for all their travel and all that type of stuff, and those those you know they ain't making any money. So it comes all that comes out. They give them an allowance every you know for their season. So yeah, but yeah, man, that was funny. That dude said quarter house. <laughs> we got to straighten up the dominoes to figure out this dude count is twenty five and seventeen. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I got, hey, I got a question. About, man, hey, about, I got a question. What about the ribs, about though? Them. Hold on. What about them ribs, though? Od, Deezy? What about them ribs? Box? Don't act like you need. Huh? I'm still licking my fingers. I'm still licking my fingers right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished mine on lunch break today. Mean. I can't hear you. Hey, uh, uh, oh, did you muted the sun? We can't hear you saying nothing. Oh, my bad. So, yeah, getting back on this pod because we got eight minutes because I'm shutting it down at 10 30. I got something to do. Uh, hey, bo uh, boss, you said you had one question. What do y'all, uh, this is gonna be real quick. Do y'all think the basketball team will win 20 games this year? Woo, it's gonna be suspect from, from what I see. I, I don't believe, I, I don't believe so, man. I don't this think team so. is this team is terrible. They they just look bad. Uh, who's your go to guy? Tremont Mart. That's your Mark. that's that's your go to guy. But Blocker. Blocker deserves a starting job because Ellis has just lost. He lost all confidence. But I, I've always said he was a turnover magnet. He always turned the ball over. Even at Louisville, he was a turnover king. Yeah. Ellis went I went ten in the Bahamas. FYI. Yeah. I, Super I think trash. a coach can I, I think a coach can ruin a player's confidence too. Mm -hmm. Boss Howard, what you think? They'll win 20. Must gonna you turn so? must gonna get it. Oh yeah, must gonna get it turned around. I mean, they they lose what nine games every year with Must. Because it takes them a while for them to get adjusted to each other. Oh yeah, must wow. gonna fix it. We ain't, we ain't really yeah, done one, no predictions on them. But one thing we did yeah. say, me and OD was talking uh, yesterday, and I told him, I said, you know what? These cupcake games going to come back to, to haunt them because, you know, when they, they when they get into the meat of this SEC and it's grinding out and you got 17 wins and you got to get three to get tournament eligible, and you remember that you lost to some teams that you should have beat in the beginning of the year. Mm. But one thing, one thing that I see, you, get, you should be able to be able to go out the three point line right now. It don't take a whole year to do that. Our three point defense absolutely sucks. Yeah, that's discipline. Cheating down is what that is. They just not they not staying and, at home. They trying to cheat. And you can't and, and you can't teach an old dog new tricks. A lot of old dogs on our team. Where where does anybody know anything about backyotomy? Why is he not playing? I don't know what's up with Graham. His back it, hurts. Just, yeah, I mean, his back. <laughs> like you said, he need a backyotomy. Boy, ter he is terrible, man. But what's the dude now? He uh, uh Brazil. I, I don't think he a hundred percent, man. He is just missing all kinds of dunks. I don't think he's 100 percent man. I think he's still he I think he's still playing through that ACL injury. Because he's not playing like I mean he's he's good on the boards, but he's just not aggressive. Like What'd you say? You I said you don't feel like he has the confidence on that. No, on that I, think he's not, I, I just think that he's not he's not aggressive enough. He he's just <laughs> passive. When I feel like he should be demanding the he should be demanding the rock. Get a bucket. I mean, he got moves, but he just ain't he ain't putting them out there. He ain't displaying it. I don't think he I hurt. Think he looked better. No. 
look, I think it looked better with Black because Black was a real point guard. He got him involved. He made sure mm -hmm. he got him the ball when he was open. We don't have that. Yeah, we got a lot of we got a lot of players that that that's a me type player trying to get to the lead. And Brazil ain't that type of player. Yeah, some players are not, you know, create are not shot creators. They more of a a a, 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 a stop and pop or they need somebody to throw that lob. I, I just think Brazil not the type of player that where you can get him the ball, he just gonna go get a bucket. You gotta set him up. Must gonna have to find some type of offensive game plan for this team. The off ball movement is disgusting. It's some of the worst I've ever seen. It's literally one guy get the ball and he trying to score. Next possession, another guy get the ball and he trying to score. It's we gotta get this team work ready. And that's the reason why I think we'll be at like 18, 19 wins. Unless something major happened. Like maybe I mean I could see us getting to 20 if like Layton Blocker really turn up to be that tight. I mean, that uh point guard that we really need. So it could happen, but in, until we learn how to use Brazil, I don't think we will be amazing. Or unless Battle and Mark gonna carry us every game, and that's impossible to do. We play. We play pretty good the first half against. We play pretty good the first half against um. What's that? Memphis. North Carolina. North Carolina? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Memphis. Blocker. Memphis. Blocker Memphis. played Memphis. the whole first half. Yeah. And, and, and shout out to the paper player. In. Uh, battle is he is pressing too much, man. He yep. is shooting ball way too much. Hey, we gonna I'm I'm gonna wrap it up with this one question, man. Um, round the horn. How how much how much leeway does Sam Pittman get next year if he comes out and let's say go? I wish I had that schedule up for next year. It's tough. Oh, it's tough. How many games does he make it next year? I'm telling you, three. <clears throat> UAPB, uh, Louisiana Tech, or UAB might be – they might lose one of those two, you know. But they're going to lose to Oklahoma State, you know, and then they're going to lose the rest, of the rest of the game. You know, LSU, Texas, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, they ain't got Alabama, but – that's still beside the point. You know, if if Kennedy's still there, Pittman's still there, oh yeah. They ain't gonna do they ain't gonna do good. Mm. I say I say Pittman, I say Pittman fired by by mid season. <laughs> Man, no, I'm looking at the schedule no, and I don't even know if you can make it to mid season. I say we're gonna beat UAPB, we're gonna lose to Oklahoma State, one and two. We're gonna beat UAB. And then we're gonna lose to AM. We're gonna be two and two. And then we're gonna lose to Texas. And I think the loss to Louisiana Tech is what's gonna really seal the deal. Cause Louisiana Tech been, you know, they be hot some years. So I just I don't see it, man. I'm sorry. Like, especially when we got home games that we play worse at home. So we have no advantages on the season. So I think Pittman gonna be on a short leash, and that's why no offensive coordinator wanna come to us. I think it's all going to get done, over and done with after the Texas game. Mm. One thing about Arkansas, one thing about Arkansas boosters, That's you right. can lose 11 games in a year, in a year but you better beat Texas. <laughs> That's in the past, Bach. They ain't like that no more. It ain't. Hey, I mean, since Arkansas been in the SEC. Yeah, you, 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 <clears throat> you say that, but did you go to the Texas and Arkansas game in Fayetteville? I was there around Texas people. There, that is still there. I mean, yeah, it's still there, but that, you know, that, but that passion for Texas that, still running in our boosters' blood. Oh yeah, and then, that, that part no, is true. But they're gonna be in our. They're in our league next year, bro. Think about it. Yeah, that's a renewed rivalry. So they, they it ain't no more. Oh, that was just S, oh, the old SWC days. They back in the same league. Imagine that yeah. after all these years, now they back in the same league. And they gonna guarantee that's I don't care who's who on that. They gonna want that's that is a game that we'll probably have them on our schedule every year. Yeah. And we're gonna get blowed out. <laughs> every well, year. Well, I appreciate that's everybody, gonna be the man, game for, leaving. <laughs> well, I appreciate everybody for rocking with us, man, coming in and doing their thing. Hey. Don't forget, 
Help us get to that 2,000 subscriber mark if you ain't subscribed. Uh, don't forget to like the video. And hey, we appreciate all the comments and the super chats. DZ, what you got to say, man? Oh, they still love you. Oh, no shot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and your boy, and your boy, your boy got knocked out real bad against Benavidez too. Being a, the Mexican monster, put that boy. Wait a minute. Down. We were, Wait. hey, we were sitting there talking the whole fight. Don't go, don't, don't, don't go out like that. Don't go out like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like we ain't friends. <laughs> you already, know, hey, you, hey, you already know this. You already know this box on boxing. <laughs> don't, don't, don't go there. <laughs> Dizzy. Man, hey, shout out to all the fans for rocking with us. <clears throat> we know y'all missed us, man. It's been a second, but hey, we back and we brought that thunder, man. We got all the heavy hitters, man. Tune in tomorrow to the SEC Weekly, YouTube, Twitter, everywhere. Instagram, TikTok, they on everything, man. Make sure y'all tune in tomorrow. Tonka Tide and SEC Mogon really give it to y'all, man. So. Yeah, shout out to everybody for rocking with us, man. Let's get it. G. Take yo, home, yo. Hey, man. First off, we want to also give a shout out to our uh, sponsor, 3M Electric. They are serving Northwest Arkansas, and they are your trusted commercial and residential electrical contractor. They are a SDVOSB. And for you who don't know, that is a service uh, a service disabled veteran owned small business. So they are reliable and dependable. So no job is too big or too small. So give them a call, please, at 479 408 9865 and tell them that the Woo Pig podcast sent you. It's going to be something special in there for you. So, with that being said, man, we'd like to thank everybody. Like you said, man, we appreciate y'all rocking with us. Hey, man, I'm going to be up on the hill. Me and OD going to be on the hill. I'll be there December the 8th through the 10th, man. We got something special going on up there, man. We just going to kick it for a minute. And uh, so, hey, man, fool with us if you cool with us. Biz, QB4. Hey, DJ Sparky, my little nephew, Chipper. My, ne my niece and nephew down there in Oxford, Mississippi. Y'all be watching. I love y'all. All the day ones. We down here, man. It's a quota host for 17, baby. So <laughs> y'all, <laughs> and so if y'all, you know, don't want somebody uh all on your podcast, making them funny faces, making all these devotionals. Hey, come on over here to the Whoopie Podcast. Hey, I said what I said. Hey, my thing is it, baby. Hey, baby, I said what I said, and we out. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's the 501, baby. Uh-huh. You know how we get down on the Whoopin' Podcast. Woo! Shout out OD, shout out G Holmes, it's the bad Big Sexy! Do it! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo. Yeah. Woo.